Hello Booktube, uh, I'm coming to you with hopefully a short video. Uh, it's uh, in response to an uh, essay that I read here from the Peppercorn Papers by Claude A. Prance. And um, it's his essay, of My Books About Books. And in one paragraph he talks about um, fiction um, books as well, and he, he mentions most most of them I'm aware of, and actually he mentions two that I have, that I never really, uh, I, I picked this up uh, off of Amazon for ugh, literally nothing, it was like, it's one of those times that it's gone down, sorry, itchy, itchy uh, proboscis, um, nose, that is, <laughs> um, where was I, oh yes, uh, it showed up um, for, I think, a pound something, whatever it was, like pound 67 or something like that, with uh, free shipping. So, oh, I'll take a gander at it. Horrible, uh, you know, it's a reprint. It's one of these digital reprints, but a horrible, horrible production and cover. But uh, it's 19 little uh, chapters. Uh, it's, it's purported to be, you know, these are things that my brother uh, wrote, uh, blah, blah, blah. And I just read it every morning before going to work. A chapter every morning, so it took me 19 days to read such a very tiny book. Um, it was a hundred, just over a hundred pages long, so it took me 19 days. So you can figure out uh, how much, how how long uh, each each chapter is. Uh, and then he mentions this one here, um, the bankrupt bookseller by Willie W. Darling, and I picked this up for a pound. I didn't know what quite quite to make what to make of it really and you can see uh, a bookmark in there I didn't get very far I sat down for a few minutes read it threw a bookmark in and then it got sort of pushed aside put on the shelf and I sort of pulled it off again to find to get to the bottom of this well now I have with this so I've learned something today uh, and he mentions other ones he mentions Christopher Morley um, you know uh, uh, Parnassus on Wheels, The Haunted Bookshop. Uh, he mentions an E.V. Lucas uh, book as well, which I wasn't aware of, a fiction book. Uh, he doesn't mention uh, Arnold Bennett's Reisman Steps, which I do want to reread at some point. Uh, but then it got to be thinking, I wonder what else there is out there in the world of uh, fiction today. Um, so, I popped on to Amazon popped in uh, booksellers and see what came up, filtered by fiction. There's all sorts of little things. Uh, there's a series uh, of murder mysteries. Uh, a Paris a booksellers mystery series. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of there's Yeah, Paris booksellers. There's Death at the Eiffel Tower. Um, let's see, I think I'm actually on page two here. Let me just go back to page one. Yes. Uh, there's all sorts of ones. There's 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 like a medieval series called Oxford Medieval Mysteries, book one. And the first one is The Bookseller's Tale. It's set in the 14th century. Kind of reminds me of Cad File. And then there's The Bookseller and the Earl. Uh, it looks like a... Uh, it's called The Merry Misfits of Bath, book one. And it looks like a, uh, a romance... Um, yeah, there's other ones here. Uh, there's Young Adult, The Left-Handed Booksellers of London by Garth Nix. That's coming out in October, no, September. Uh, there's a reprint by the British Library Crime, Crime Classics. Uh, it'll be released in October called The Death of a Bookseller by Bernard J. Farmer. He's uh, an old um, mystery writer. Uh, the Bookseller, the first Hugo Marston novel by Mark Pryor. Uh, yeah, it just goes on to a whole bunch, and then I then I popped in uh, the bookshop, uh, and then there's the body in the bookshop, uh, Yorkshire mysteries. Uh, there's the Foils Bookshop Girls. It's the Foils Girls um, series, and there's Scottish bookshop bookshop mysteries. Uh, there's all sorts. There's there's other there's ro like I say a whole romance. There's some paranormal, all sorts of things which I. I'm, I'm just flabbergasted at the plethora of of books that are being written. It seems to be in vogue to, in some ways, to write uh, regarding a bookshop or related, book-related. 
And, you know, I, I've always, uh, there's more modern ones that I, or more recent ones that I'm aware of, the, the John Dunning uh, series, uh, Bookman's Wake and so forth, uh, so forth. I, I've not read those. Uh, there's the uh, uh, Dumas Club, yeah, I was going to say Alexander Dumas Club, but I think the title is just Dumas Club. Um, and it was made into film by Polanski called The Ninth, uh, the Ninth Gate, I think it was just called, with Johnny Depp. I, I enjoy the film. I, I think the book is very, very different, but uh, uh, it's still the, it was an enjoyable film. Um, yeah, and I, yeah, and it's just I'm going to. It, it sort of expanded my horizons. Uh, I wasn't aware of what contemporary fiction there was. Uh, so, Steve, if you want some uh, bookshop romances, uh, they're definitely out there. I think. I think I said it, and I, I saw one, an Amish bookseller, uh, an Amish um, um, sort of series. Uh, so there you go, uh, and I think it's a, it's a semi-romance as well. Uh, I, I guess, yeah, it's just you could, whatever it's fit into. Uh, I didn't see anything that was a science fiction one, uh, which, hey, there's an opening. Anybody who's interested, start a science fiction bookshop series. Um, if anybody knows any other uh, good books about bookshops and things like that, do do pop them up. Uh, put them in the comments. I, I'm interested. I'm going to start with Baby Steps. Uh, I'm going to read uh, Christopher Morley's uh, and reread the uh, the uh, the Riceman Steps by Arnold Bennett. And I think there was a prequel or a sequel to it as well, at least one. Uh, but I'm not sure of that. Uh, it's a long time since I read it. And then, then I'll probably go into the John Dunning ones uh, and a few others. Uh, but yeah, if you know of anything, uh, do put it in the comments. I'd, I'd be interested to know uh, because this is something new. As I say, this is uh, something I learned something today. So I have a good. Uh, oh, um, I'm going to uh, restart my uh, bookshelf tours. They've kind of gone off the rail for the moment, but in the next few days, uh, probably the weekend, I would think, uh, but maybe before. So, uh, take care, BookTube. I'll see you next time. Bye.